Hello guys, I'm Jigsaw, so today we are going to go over top 7 most versatile characters in Injustice 2 Mobile. Now those characters are not um, marketed as the best damage dealers in Injustice 2 Mobile. Some of them are great damage dealers, especially for raids, but the point of this video is for each of those characters to be able to stand their ground even without the most optimal team characters that can pull great damage in every aspect of the game in campaign in arena champions arena and especially raids now if you are a beginner and you need a main go-to character if you want to succeed in every fight if you want to do great damage in raids arena if you want to finish campaign you definitely need one of those characters that I'm going to suggest you. Now, let's start with number 7, a character that is definitely a versatile queen. And I'm talking Power about girl. Power Girl. This girl is absolutely outstanding in the fact that she can be a great damage dealer for raids. Not the most badass damage dealer, not the most uh, OP character for raids, but she's decent for raids. She's very dangerous for Arena just because she has Dot on the special one and multiply this with any artifact you are putting in on her with a great damage dealing build with crit chance, crit damage. The special one is just killer for Arenas and her special tree uh, can be chained into an infinite combo and her special two I believe can also be chained into an infinite combo. Now the main thing why this girl is so amazing is the passive um, she gives minus two bar, uh, team's power uh, bar cast for abilities uh, basically she reduces your power cast for abilities by two uh, and this applies to her and to her teammates so that's why she's so versatile she can be used as a damage dealer she can be a support she can be a tank a combo builder whatever you want to do with her she can do that she's one of those characters that it's a no-brainer um i would say i picked her be, um, above silver doctor fade just because silver doctor fade it's mainly a tank and combo builder Yes, she uh, he can do great damage uh, in raid in tier 6 with the old blades, but he's not that great for uh, arenas. Meanwhile, Power Girl has that infinite, Power Girl has that dot, uh, and also she gets uh, plus 1% damage every 10 seconds uh, to a maximum of 36%. And I believe her gear bonuses yeah she also has crit chance and attack on the gear bonuses so she can be turned into whatever you want and that's why she's so versatile and she's also easy to get she has shards very cheap in the league store and she also drops in raids uh in the rewards her gears also also drop in raids so it's not that big of an issue to build her eventually you are going to get her at six star uh, and eventually you are going to get some gears for her and I would say she's totally worth building even all the way up to level 70 because you can do whatever you want with her she's absolutely amazing now number six black adam so um, let me say this right now I didn't include in this list king of atlantis aquaman and I included power girl and black adam like I said, this is not a top for the most damage dealing character for raids. This is a top for characters that can do great in every aspect of the game. Of course, if you have a well-built King of Atlantis Aquaman, you can destroy everything in uh, arena and campaign, but he's not one of the best characters for arena and campaign. So he's mainly built for raids. But Black Adam, on the other hand, he, he can do great in raids. He can do amazing in Arena and Champions Arena because of those infinite passive that he has. Um, he, he can destroy everything in campaign because he is also a power drainer king. And I don't know, I absolutely love Black Adam for his versatility. That's why when he first came out, I built him all the way up to level 70 gears. Now... It only has one passive, but it contains four. 
Uh, it is immune to cr uh, increases to power cast of ability. So it, this guy is basically immune to Horrific Scarecrow and uh, Black Lightning. 75% uh, chance to stun on tagging. That's why this guy is works better in Arena than, um, than King of Atlantis. 10% power boost on special one per use and it stack ups uh, five times. That is 50% uh, more power generation boost on the special one. And his special one also get, gives you 25% power generation boost for 15 seconds. So after you did five special ones, the last special one that you are going to do is going to give you 75% power generation boost for 15 seconds and i believe that is just overkill you are going to have an overflow of power and this um, special also gives you 70 percent chance to reduce your team's power cast of abilities by three by fucking three so this guy is also like a silver doctor fate and power girl but better and that is for the whole team and also for himself so that's why he can stand his ground even on his own he doesn't need a power girl or silver doctor fate to do amazing now the last thing it says here seven power bars may be stolen on use of the special tree so the special tree it is 60 percent chance to steal power bars and on the passive it says it says how much uh, how many power bars it steals and the fact is that's why he's so versatile because it steals power it doesn't just power drain on arena and champions arena that is going to be so fucking useful and especially if you are fighting brainiac so this guy it's all is mainly uh, built to fight brainiac because you cannot um, power drain some sub buses but nevertheless he can do great even on sub buses i one shotted uh dr fate with him i believe one week ago and he's great He's totally great. Now the special two, it is 75% chance to increase your power cast, uh, to increase power cast of current opponent's ability by three. So this is like a horrific scarecrow, but better. Uh, and it is for 25 seconds. And it also reduces the damage per basic and swipe uh, attacks by 75%. So this is um, a horrific scarecrow and some sort of nightmare Batman because you, you are basically making yourself invulnerable to Justice League Cyborg or LOA team so that's why he's so fucking good he's amazing as a character and I would highly recommend you build him if you want an overall beast a character that can do great in every aspect of the game now number five Justice League Cyborg this is a no-brainer one of the most versatile characters and when uh, the Justice League thing uh, first came out because of this guy it was one of the most OP teams in the game of course now it's not the case because we have more OP bitches and the game is so fucking broken but nevertheless Cyborg still can stand his ground he can destroy everything in campaign he can be amazing in um, arenas because uh, the Justice League team is one of the fewest team that can uh, win a match within seconds uh, and on raids the justice league team it's still one of the most versatile teams in terms of what you can fight you can fight a grad fate you can fight uh, if you have a great build you can even fight uh, horrific scarecrow captain cold phase one phase two phase basically everything they can one shot everything and they can do everything um in that specific game especially cyborg since he has uh, more assets that uh, adds up to his versatility uh, besides other justice league teammates like he's immune to stun this is great on captain cold three power bars when targeted by stun attack so he he basically doesn't get stunned he gets power instead plus 300 percent uh damage boost per basic tag and swipe attack that's why he's so versatile because he gives that uh to his own and to his teammates the special one is basic damage but the special two is what makes him so fucking versatile um besides the other justice league teammates that he power drains five bars of power so you can make this guy a beast and be able to survive just because you are able to power drain and uh, without his power drain the Justice League team won't be able to one shot phase 4 and that's why he's so versatile because because of him 
uh, your Justice League team is so um, it's so versatile, and you can even use him as the damage dealer, and he can do great. And I believe he can one shot everything in tier six, uh, and do let's say ten million damage in tier seven or eight. The special three it is normal damage, but oh boy. I can stretch this enough, you definitely need Justice League Cyborg. I'm not quite sure how you can get his gears now. Uh, I don't know, Netherrealm is smoking something. They removed characters from specific uh, areas of the game and now they cannot be uh, promoted like Silver Lantern. Uh, they uh, removed gears from Arena Store. Justice League Cyborg used to have his gears into Arena Store and now he doesn't. And I'm sorry to say, but I, I have no fucking clue where you should get the gears for this guy. But in the future, if they add his gears back, um, I would highly recommend you building him. Now, besides raids, you cannot get his gears. But if you are lucky, you can get his uh, full gear set from raids. But I don't know about that. You definitely need some godlike kind of luck. Now, moving on to number... Uh, four, we have a character that I'm not a fan of, but Batman is a Gorilla Grodd. This character is so fucking versatile, so good in every aspect of the game, just because he's basically the king of the Batman Ninja team. Now, his passive one, it gives 350% only at four star damage bonus on every fifth successful basic or swipe attack. That makes him more destroy, uh, more dangerous than Justice League team. Because I believe at 6 star it is 500% damage on the 5th hit. And that is quite a lot. And it also mitigates 30% damage and defense from the opponent for 12 seconds. And I believe this one stays the same or it can go up to 50%. So you are basically having here a Justice League team but better and um, classic Superman but better. So that's why he's so versatile. Now when he's below 30% health he gets 40% lethal attack chance for 12 seconds and 70% of damage from the basic actually heals uh, himself. So he can be a great damage dealer by his own. And when he lands an uh, unblockable lethal attack he gets power bars so you you basically don't need a power reduction character because he can gain power and have infinite flow now his special one oh my fucking god 100 percent damage to blinded opponents at level 39 and i believe this one goes up to 150 or 200 percent at level 70. his shield he has a shield to reflect and uh, mitigating coming damage and his special three uh gives a healing bonus oh my fucking god a 100 healing bonus oh my god boy so uh if you have a teammate that can heal if you are using the special three he's going to heal twice as much um and the special one if you are having a teammate that can uh, blind the opponent like Batman Ninja Catwoman or Batman Ninja Robin. You can tag in this guy and he's going to do like 2 million damage on the special one. So that's why I included him in this list. He's the only character in the whole game that can actually do 2 million damage on the special one. Yeah, Ben Shishi can do 3 million damage on the special three, but this motherfucker can do 2 million on the special one. So... Uh, adding on top of that the fact that he has a shield the fact that he is a classic superman but better the fact that he's some sort of justice league uh, team but better he has healing he has little he has power uh, gained on basics he's a great overall character even though i don't like his design in my opinion he looks fucking garbage disgusting um I gotta give them props because they made an absolute tank, an absolute beast. You can turn this guy into a combo builder, a tank. Uh, and also, I forgot to mention, this guy has an infinite. This is one of the fewest characters in the whole game that have a fucking infinite. So, you can actually uh, use this guy as your main combo builder because he can chain, he can decrease um, 
decrease the damage and the defense of the opponent when he does combos and meanwhile he gains power on basics and he does infinite so i don't know do what you want to do with this guy but you can turn him into a damage dealer a tank a combo builder and he's going to do amazing in every aspect of the game raids arena and campaign now number three a character that is an absolute monster justice league superman dude i don't even think i need to explain myself 150 percent attack per batman teammate or opponent so if you are fighting a batman you also get 150 percent attack but here it says superman gains bonus attack or health when batman or wonder woman are on either team during battle these bonuses stack and also apply to Batman and Wonder Woman teammates. So if you are having, you can use this guy as a support to boost your overall damage on your Batman. If you are fighting, if you are having Silver Batman or um, Predator Batman, he this guy acts like a better Shazam for them. Uh, and also it it uh, it makes your um, your Wonder Woman health doubles more than doubles and that's not the main focus because it's health so who the fuck cares but the attack bonus it's absolutely nuts you can have your justice league team with justice league cyborg and do what you want to do with that team but still have a second justice league team with this guy pair this character with two batmans let's say silver batman to give him for, for some crit chance and with Nightmare Batman or Predator Batman and you have already 300% attack. And pair that with the old blades and with Claws of Horus, brah. He's going to do insane in every aspect of the game. And it's not that hard to make a team for him. You can pair him with, uh, like I said, Predator Batman. You can get that character from Arena Store. You can... Uh, pair him with uh, Silver Batman and that character you get for free when you start the game. So it's absolutely amazing. You just have, you just need to have him and then it's done. Now 40% defense for Justice League and legendary teammates. So you basically don't need any defense on this character. Uh, and this one also gives uh, the, that defense for the whole Justice League team. So if you want your Justice League team to have Superman, you don't need defense on them. Uh, or if you have the legendary team and that defense also includes himself so you don't need defense on Justice League Superman it hurts my eyes when I see in arena Justice League Superman with max fucking defense just read the passive to be people now passive 3 protector it uh, each time not actually each time whenever uh, an opponent tries to hit your character uh, that it's not Superman, let's say your Superman is tagged out, uh, Superman actually interrupts that attack and uh, makes your uh, character that was in the game uh, tag out automatically and this guy when he tags in, he basically one shots everything in, um, in campaign. No matter what character do you have, if you have a well-built Justice League Superman, if you have him uh, crit chance, crit damage and attack, when he's going to tag in, he's going to one-shot even 90k health max resistance dark side. So that's why he's so versatile. Because he can do amazing in raids with even a, a, a budget team made of Batmans. Um, and he can destroy everything in arena. And of course he's going to do beastly in campaign. Now the special one, it may not seem that much, it says normal damage, but just read what it says here. Superman neutralizes all negative effects affecting him and charges forward doing the special. Now, I didn't know a long time ago about this, uh, about this one, but if you are fighting in arena and if you are suffering from, let's say, if you are standing into a hazard, if you are um, having blind on you, if you are having that uh, on your Superman, you can just do the special one and it's fucking cheap. It's three bars of power and then boom, uh, the dot is gone, the hazard is gone and it's absolutely amazing. Now the special two, it's a, it's a shield but with a twist. It's a shield that mitigates incoming damage, reflects incoming damage, but also after you block, 
you get 25% health restored on special block. So this uh, is a shield that can actually heal your Justice League Batman. So that's why he's so fucking versatile because you can use this uh, Justice League Superman even to fight Horrific Scarecrow. Because he has max defense, you don't need defense on him. So he's basically going to survive the super move. And when you are low on health, you just block the specials from Horrific Scarecrow and you get health. So you have a healing uh, shield. And the special 3, it is burning, that cuts the defense in half. So you are basically can fight any sub-boss without having to worry about defense, because burning it's some sort of like having a classic Superman uh, all of the time. And yeah, such a great character, such an amazing character. He may not be the damage king for raids, he's not Black Manta, let's say, he's not king of Atlantis in terms of damage and raids, but nevertheless, he's a fucking beast. Now... Number two, a character that I don't quite like, but Multiverse Armor Supergirl, she's a fucking queen, man. I don't think I, I need to explain myself about her. Everyone knows by now what she can do. She is destroying everything in, in Arena Champions Arena. Campaign, I don't even want to talk about it. And Raids, Raids, again, one of the most versatile characters. She destroys everything and... Uh, considering the fact that she's one of the fewest characters that can actually do great against Captain Cold, that says a lot. Now, she gets power boost for every multiverse teammates that uh, that she has. She gets power generation uh, per might opponent and she can interrupt uh, attacks from the opponent just like Dark Supergirl and she gains uh, power bars when she tags in. Uh, her special one it is burning but it is uh, it also ge gets damage when uh, you are fighting a might opponent so that's great for uh, Gorilla Grad uh, and the uh, burning duration is also absolutely insane it's not like Justice League Superman it's three times the amount of that uh, her special two gives her defense and crit immunity shield and her special tree gives her um, crit damage buff and also bonus damage on every third special when you, you are hitting a burning opponent. So this is the only character in the game that you basically don't need any stat besides attack because she gets max crit damage, max crit chance only from her special tree and uh, multiverse of flash. And besides that, you basically don't need anything else, just... Pure 4% attack epics on talents, uh, pure uh, attack on the gears, and Claws of Horus or the All Blades. The All Blades would be optimal, but any any artifact would do great. Now, number one, I would say one of the most versatile characters, Black Manta. Why Black Manta? Because this character is so fucking annoying in Arena, he destroys everything. In campaign, doesn't. we don't need to talk about that. And in raids, he's a fucking monster. He can destroy everything. Uh, he can do 30, 40 million damage on Horrific Scarecrow. The same amount on every sub-boss. He can fight phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase, phase 4, everything. If you have the right team and the right build, this character is going to do insane in every aspect of the game. Now, he gets... Uh, special abilities used by Black Manta or Legendary Allies inflict that for a percentage of Black Manta's attack and temporarily block the healing. This is fucking insane for Arena because most of the characters have heal. And if you are using this passive, if you are using Black Manta and you have this passive maxed out, uh, nobody can heal. And uh, meanwhile, they cannot heal, they are uh, getting uh, the dot damage. And if you have a great Black Manta with a high attack, that, that damage is going to be just disgusting. Now, he can get on the passive 2 up to 1000% uh, more uh, damage per uh, basics. This one is like, is two times as strong as uh, King of Atlantis Aquaman. So, a no brainer, it's absolutely outstanding. And when the match starts, he gets plus 200% health. And 12% damage reduction, this is a basically a block effectiveness, 12% block effectiveness for 12 seconds whenever he's hit with um, an ability and he successfully blocks that. 
So that's why he can destroy phase two because uh, in phase two, Brainiac has uh, armor pierce, and your defense is going to do shit. But you have more health. You have triple your overall health, and you also get twelve percent block effectiveness. And if you didn't know by now, block effectiveness is the only bonus in the game that can actually counter uh, the armor pierce that Brainiac does on uh, his abilities. And now the special one. Uh, it mitigated, it uh, reduces your uh, the opponent's power generation for a specific duration of time. Special 2 applies fucking burning, cuts the defensive health. Amazing, so versatile. And the special 3, the only special 3 in the whole game that can um, stun raid bosses. And it also does, uh, it mitigates stun resistance. So uh, Arkham Knight Batman has... Uh, stun that works in race, but that is on the special 2. This guy has on the special 3, so that equals more damage when he's going solo. And I don't know, it, he's an overall great character, man. I highly recommend you get Black Manta. The sad thing is that you cannot get his gears uh, for free. And not with him, not with Justice League Superman, and not with uh, uh, Gorilla Grodd. Uh, you have to either purchase the gear chest for these characters and hopefully get a full gear set. But I would recommend you just wait and get the gears with 10 bucks from the store. It's much uh, less of a headache. But to do that, at least a show, make sure that you have your characters like Justice League, Superman, uh, Manta or Grodd at least four stars because if you are stuck at three stars with the full gears yet you're you're still going to do shit uh just wait until you get that character to four stars and then you can buy the full gear set that was my list guys uh, let me know in the comment section down below what is your main go-to character what do you think is the most versatile characters in the game now if you didn't like this list let me know in the comment section down below because those were my personal preferences and the characters that I strongly believe they can do great in any aspect of the game. But I'm sure you have other ideas and I would love to, uh, to actually hear them. Take care guys. Peace.